Alright, we're playing a super tie break for a third set. I'm just focusing on getting the ball in play and working the point out. I've been missing that shot a lot. So here I'm reminding myself, next time that happens, I'm going to hit a tight top spin, excite the racket through the ball. You know, and, and we're, 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 I'm talking a lot because we're, we're friends, you know, and it's cool. We're just playing a fun match. No big deal, right? Okay. But it's okay to joke around. As long as right before you start your routine, you focus. Like right here, I'm focusing on what I'm going to do, serving volley, Y pattern. Second serve. Backhand pattern, protect the backhand. See right there, he did a lot of weird things. He went to my forehand, he forced me to a cross court, I miss a slice, I don't normally miss a slice. So I'm trying to shake out the fact that he made a simple mistake. I'm focusing on running a good play right now. I'm debating the merits of going to this forehand, I think I'm picking backhand. My first serve is giving up on me a little bit. That's a little bit of annoying because my game is really different when my first serve goes in. Now I'm just focusing on getting a good kick to his backhand. That was a solid shot by me. I went flat, went down the line. It just kind of comes out like that, you know. So now I'm thinking on the first serve, I want to hit a good return. I want to get into good rally, look for an opportunity to come to net. And that's what I'm always thinking about here. You know, it's only 2-1, no big deal. Here we go, focus on the point, think about what I'm going to do, hit a solid return. <laughs> now I'm just, ignore I'm just releasing some frustration because there's really nothing I could do about that. I thought he was going to drop me and I misread it. And he went deep. Nothing I can do about that. It's 3-1. He had a good shot. What we really need to do is get the momentum back here. I need a solid point. And I need to even the score out. Now I'm really pissed about that one. Because I was going to hit the down the line slice. I changed my mind mid-swing. and went to a top spin roll. And I just hit out. So that really annoyed me. Now I'm down 1-4. Okay, and now I'm trying to focus on getting a solid first serve so I can serve in volley. 9 times out of 10, I make that volley. So that's just one of those things, you know. I gotta focus on making sure I get that volley. I'm, just, I'm at 1-5, I'm not in really bad shape, but it's starting to look really bad. And I'm rushing a little bit, so I'm telling myself to slow down here. That really sucked. I'm really pissed off right now. It's a 1-6. We didn't trade sides, so I'm going to tell him we're going to trade sides. And now I really have to focus because it's 1-6. We are playing the 10, so it's a little bit different. you know. But he's serving at 1-6. 6 So in my head, I'm thinking, just get one off his serve. And by getting one off his serve and hold all my serves, I should be okay. I should be able to catch up by 10. So now I'm really focused in now. I'm just really zeroing in. I'm getting some water. I'm towing off. I'm walking the baseline. I'm thinking I got to hit solid shots. No sloppy shots anymore. It's 1-6. I don't have any leeway right now. Okay. And I'm just focusing on hitting solid ground strokes. I'm not going for anything special. Everything's in cross court. I'm aiming really far in. There, I see a car break. There, I know a car break. I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to get one point on his serve, so now it's 2 6. In my head, I'm still thinking, I'm okay, try to get one more and hold all my serves for the rest of the game here. Zeroing in on what I want to do, tight shots, crisp, everything inside the box, everything way in. And I caught a break again. So now it's not so bad. It's 3 6. I'm thinking, hold my two serves, I get to 5 6, and I'll be in pretty good shape. And what we need now is a solid first serve, a solid serve and volley pattern on my first serve. Now I'm, I'm thinking in my head, oh, I'm rolling. I'm up, I won four points in a row. I gotta keep playing now. Don't break the momentum. When you're winning points, you gotta keep playing as fast as possible. Don't let the momentum slide away. Don't overthink. 
Same thing. First serve, first body. Now it's 5 6 and I'm kind of laughing because I'm just so lucky right now. And this is a critical point because if I win this point 6 all, it's a whole new ball game. So I'm going to go for a solid return, tight spin. Uh, another break. I'm giggling because it's six all. Now I know Peter has to be frustrated, and now the now I'm I'm kind of like switching sides, and I'm kind of joking, but the side facing the sun is significantly hotter than the side with the shade. I mean, it's significantly hotter. That baseline is so cool because the shade, it's about 92 degrees or so, you know, with humidity. It, it is three o'clock in the afternoon, almost four, but it's still pretty hot. It's six all. And now what I want to try to do is keep the momentum going. I am stalling a little bit because I need to get water. And I, I, I'm playing kind of slow here. But it's smoking hot. You know. And I want a solid point here. Same concept. I got a little bit more leeway. So I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive now. I can play a little bit more loose. And I, I'm a little bit irritated at myself in that I'm still missing that cross court pass when he approaches to my forehand, you know. And I did something stupid. I, I put water in my cap and I drip water on the court, so I'm wiping the water up because I don't want to slip on it. It's six seven. What we really need is a solid serve and a solid first volley. I want to play solid point. I'm really focusing in on that in my head. I'm just telling myself continue what I've been doing, keep the ball in the court, solid shots. Seven up, and that was a gimme. You know, I got lucky on that one. Same thing, keep the momentum rolling. I've been, I've hit all first serves in since I've been down one six. I want to keep that going. Here, I guess, as soon as I made that volley, he's been passing me cross court most of the match, and as soon as I made that volley down the line, I broke for the cross court immediately, and I had to do that because he's been passing me cross court the whole match. That's like the fourth one he hit. Okay. And now we're at a. Uh, yeah, that was huge. Cause now it's like seven, eight, seven, nine, and now I'm in the driver's seat. Cause I know regardless of what happens at the next point, I get to serve. So now I'm gonna be really aggressive. Continue what I've been doing. The key is when you're really ahead. Or whenever you're doing anything that gets you to the point where you're coming back, continue to do what you're doing. Don't do anything stupid. No drop shots. See, nothing fancy. Uh, what got me in trouble with the drop shots and the fancy shots, aiming for corners, is none of that. I'm going to continue what I've been doing the whole match in this tiebreak ever since I've been down 1 6. This is just unfortunate, and I'm really upset that I missed that because that was match point. And but it's still eight nine. I'm still in the advantage. I don't want to make too much of a distraction to myself. I did yell, which was silly, but you know it's just me. I'm having fun on a Sunday afternoon. I want a solid point right here, and that's the way it goes. I I, I made the comeback. I got lucky. Some of it's luck, but the key was I focused on solid shots. And when I was down one six, all first serves in. And I was thinking in my head, make all my serves and get one point on his serve. 